Kwa bila kujali kwamba tumepeleka ujumbe UN tarehe 24 mwezi Januari. Azma yetu ya kuandamana nchi nzima tunaendelea nayo. Umoja wa mataifa utachukua hatua kwa kadiri ambavyo umoja wa mataifa utaona inafaa na ukitaka kujua udhalimu wa wa, 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 wa wa serikali hii inayoongozwa na CCM alipobaini tu kwamba tumepeleka barua umoja wa mataifa tarehe 24 haraka haraka ikapangwa ratiba ya bunge kwamba miswada ya mwanzo kabisa tarehe 30 iwe ni hii kabla hatua mbalimbali hazijachukuliwa tunaamini bado umoja wa mataifa utachukua utachukua hatua mbalimbali tunaamini umoja wa mataifa utachukua hatua mbali mbali na barua ambayo tulimpelekea katibu mkuu wa UN iko hapa wanahabari baadhi mmeulizia me, me kwamba tulisema tutaitoa hii barua mtapatiwa mta, mta nakala kwa mujibu wa itifaki yetu na mkurugenzi wa mambo ya nje na mahusiano ya kimataifa ambaye vile ni mkurugenzi wa mawasiliano ya chama mheshimiwa John Mrema lakini kwa sababu mmeuliza me Badai yetu ya msingi yalioko kwenye hiyo 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 barua nita 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 nitawasomea sehemu tu ya sehemu tu ya hiyo barua sehemu ndogo tu ya hiyo barua kwa katibu mkuu wa umoja wa mataifa tawasomea kurasa kurasa moja tu na, na nusu ya sehemu ya hiyo barua chama cha demokrasia na maendeleo cha dema the largest opposition party in Tanzania is submitting this petition on behalf of our party and the people of the United Republic of Tanzania to request the intervention of the United Nations and all its affiliates to strongly advise the government of President Samia Sulu Hassan to respect people's demands which are the bills submitted to Parliament on November 10th, 2023, should be withdrawn from Parliament because they address cosmetic reforms and do not address the fundamental problems of the Electoral Commission structure and election law. Therefore, we propose and demand the following actions. The government should submit a bill to Parliament to expedite the process of new constitution along the roadmap for each step until a new constitution is obtained, taking into account the national consensus. The government should submit to parliament a bill for transitional amendment to the constitution of the United Republic of Tanzania of 1977 to enable free and fair elections after addressing the current constitutional shortcomings. Laws are enacted according to the Constitution, which currently has many flaws affecting the laws to be enacted. Regarding local government elections, the government should submit a bill to Parliament where, among other things related to the elections, the National Electoral Commission should be given the authority to oversee the local government elections rather than being supervised by the President's Office for Regional Administration and Local Government in bracket Tamisemi, through regulation drafted by the minister responsible for Tamisemi. The bill amending the Political Parties Act as amended in 2019 and the Electoral Cost Act should be removed because they do not address the current challenges. Instead, the current bill grants more authority to the registrar of political parties, restricting political parties more under the office. That is not independent according to the Constitution. Additional. The bill has not taken into account and ignored the East African Court of Justice order, stating that some sections violate the East African Community Treaty. Regarding the rising cost of living, the party calls on the government to take decisive measures to alleviate hardships of the citizens, most of whom live in abject poverty, which should include one, reducing taxes and levies on essential goods and services for citizens. Two, eliminating luxury spending in the government. Three, combating rampant corruption in government. And fourth, presenting in parliament a plan and strategy to uplift citizens 
from the difficult living conditions. That should include lowering the prices of essential goods or subsidizing products. In the same way, this is the way we have to do this. We have to do this. Maudhu yake. Kimkitaji barua kamili tutawasiliana na, na mkurugenzi wetu. Na barua hii imesainiwa na mwenyekiti Freeman Mboy kwa sababu jana nilimsikia mbunge mmoja jana ujuzi akisema ujuzi akisema bungeni kama Chadema imepeleka barua ambayo haijasainiwa. Haija hii barua imesainiwa na mwenyekiti Freeman Mboy na imekwenda kwa katibu mkuu wa moja mataifa Antonio Guterres New York kupitia kwa United Nations Resident Coordinator wa Tanzania ambaye ni Zlatan Milisic ambaye ndio alipokea barua hapa Tanzania kwa niaba ya katibu mkuu wa umoja wa mataifa. Kwa hiyo hiyo propaganda ya huyo mbunge aliyosema bungeni ina ina inastahili inastahili kupuuzwa. Kuhusiana na na swali lako juu ya hoja ya gharama za maisha kwamba wakati wa maandamano Jambo lilogusa watu wengi lilikuwa ni swala la sukari sasa sasa kwa nini kwa nini tusiainishe bei za vitu vingine umetaja nyama umetaja bati na bei za vitu za vitu mbalimbali mbali katika uhamasishaji wetu kuhusiana kuhusiana na maandamano ili wananchi waweze kukumbuka jinsi ambavyo vitu vime vimepanda bei kwanza wananchi wana wanafahamu namna ambavyo vitu vimepanda bei sababu ugumu wa maisha wanauishi wananchi kwa ukitamka maneno tu kwamba vyakula vimepanda bei wananchi wanajua lakini mawazo yako ya kuchambua uh, hoja mahususi kwa maeneo tume tumeyapokea utakumbuka kwamba Dar es Salaam tulikuwa na kipeperushi hiki cha maandamano na kipeperushi hiki kilikuwa na hoja mahususi kabisa kwamba tunaitaka serikali isikie na heshima maoni, maoni ya wananchi serikali ipunguze gharama za maisha serikali ipunguze kodi tozo na faini ambazo ni kero serikali ikomeshe maisha ya anasa kwa viongozi wa umma serikali iondoe ufisadi serikali ilinde rasilimali za taifa serikali iondoe miswada mibovu serikali ianzishe mchakato wa katiba mpya serikali ifanye marekebisho madogo ya katiba kuwezesha uchaguzi uru na haki uchaguzi wa serikali za mitaa usimamiwe na tume huru ya uchaguzi sisi kwa sababu tunaongoza tu maandamano kwa niaba ya wananchi wote tunasikia sauti hizi na pengine mvute subira tutakapokwenda tutakapokwenda Mwanza muone je uhamasishaji wa maandamano Mwanza utatumia mbinu za namna gani na hoja zipi tukifika Mbeya tutatumia mbinu zipi na hoja zipi tukifika Arusha tutatumia mbinu zipi na hoja na hoja na hoja zipi kuhusiana na nimalizie kwa swali la mengine nimeajibu wakati najibu maswali ya wengine swali la faki wa mwanahalisi kuhusiana na na nukuu yangu juu ya ya katiba ya nchi ibara ya moja na saba juu ya mahakama kama chambo cha juu chenye kauli ya mwisho ya utoaji wa haki na nafasi ya majaji katika kushiriki kwenye vuguvugu la utoaji haki naomba nikumbushe tu faki wa mwanahalisi kwamba nimesema vitu viwili leo katika siku ya sheria la kwanza nimesema mahakama ya Tanzania katika siku ya leo ya sheria iwe ni majaji iwe ni mahakimu wajifunze kutoka katika mahakama za kikanda katika masuala ya kusimamia haki za wananchi na katika mukta za miswada hii nimetaja hukumu tatu muhimu za mahakama ya Afrika na mahakama ya Afrika Afrika Mashariki kwa wao wakijifunza hatusemi kwamba majaji waje kwenye maandamano. Tunachosema ni kwamba majaji wakiletewa kesi za haki wakumbuke kwamba katiba pamoja na udhaifu wake pamoja na kukosekana kwa uhuru wa mahakama imetamka mahakama ndio chombo cha juu cha haki. Na wasimamie haki. Na wakumbuke historia hata za Tanzania za majaji ambao walikuwa thabiti katika kusimamia haki. Wasimamie haki. Hili ni kwa majaji na mahakimu lakini la pili ambalo nimelisema leo siku ya sheria ni kwa mawakili kote nchini mawakili wote wapenda haki kutumia njia za kimahakama wengine 
waje kwenye maandamano. Tuliona baadhi ya mawakili walikuja kwenye maandamano tukaandamana nao tunawashukuru sana kwa sababu wanaposhiriki maandamano wanasikiliza hisia za wananchi moja kwa moja tunawakaribisha mawakili kwenye maandamano kama ambavyo walishiriki tarehe 24. Lakini pamoja na kuandamana barabarani tunatoa mwito kwa mawakili vile vile kutumia njia za kimahakama kwenye mahakama za ndani, mahakama za kikanda, mahakama za kimataifa kuendesha vugu vugu la haki kudai haki za msingi kwa niaba ya wananchi tukiamini mbinu zote zikitumika maandamano mitaani mahakamani kila mahali ikawa ni mapambano ya vuguvu la haki serikali hii isiyosikia italazimika kusikia na kama serikali hii haitasikia kwenye maandamano barabarani kwenye mikutano kwenye njia mbalimbali za kudai haki Tutaeleza hatua nyingine za ziada atakazochukua lakini kama mtendaji mkuu naona njia moja wapo hii safari tunayoianza kimsingi ni safari ya kwenda kuiondoa sisi madarakani na kuweka madarakani serikali zenye kusikia maoni na sauti ya wananchi asanteni sana